Being constructed over the total area of 250 square kilometers in Sibuya Metadnat al Hira, or Silk City, is planned to be completed within 25 years with an estimated cost of $132 billion, a price tag that led to Silk City being one of the most radical and most expensive construction projects in the region. But what exactly is Silk City Kuwait? It's one of the most beautiful countries in the world. Located along the coast of the Arabian Gulf, Kuwait's status as both an economic paradise and a tourist attraction famous for its modern architectural wonders has been growing exponentially over the last few decades. Conceptualized as a solution to Kuwait's growing overpopulation issue and overloaded infrastructure, Silk City is also expected to boost Kuwait's already strong economy. The Kuwaiti dinar is actually the highest valued currency in the world, estimated at $3.32 per dinar. The high value is explained by Kuwait's stable economy and significant oil exports into the global market, producing almost 95% of the country's revenue. Kuwait's investment in Silk City is predicted to provide around 450,000 new job opportunities, which is more than 10% of the total population. The future city will be connected to Kuwait City, the capital, via the Jaber Causeway, with the main link being the fourth longest road bridge in the world at 36.14 kilometers. Without a doubt, the most impressive part of Silk City is Burj Mubarak, the one kilometer high skyscraper that is being constructed at the center of the city being the focal point. The rest of the city is being built around it, but we'll get back to that later in the video. With the capability of housing up to 700,000 people, Silk City is going to comprise multiple other attractions like an Olympic Stadium, a nature reservation area over the area of 2 square kilometers, a new airport, as well as many other amenities including business, athletic and environmental areas and conventions. To get a better understanding of the project, let's divide it into different sections. The Financial District In front of Kuwait City and close to the new airport, this section of the project will have the business center, conference halls and amenities, and is also planned to be an important part for international and regional trade flow. Of course, a futuristic place like Silk City, in a country with the highest valued currency in the world, needs a dedicated financial district. The Ecological District Located at the center of Silk City and spanning 45 square kilometers is the ecological section. It includes national parks and reservations for wild animals and rare plants as well as nature reserves for immigrating birds from other parts of the world. The Ecological District will also include a center for environmental studies and vast green spaces. The whole Silk City will be surrounded by a green belt of gardens and vast green spaces to guarantee the visitor a healthy experience. While most of Silk City is expected to be completed in the year 2023, Burj Mubarak is estimated to take over 25 years to be fully finished. The tower is going to comprise 234 floors, with the capacity to house 7,000 people. It would be the tallest building in Kuwait by far, and it's safe to say that its planned height surpasses the world's current tallest building, Burj Khalifa in Dubai, which is only 828 meters. However, it is not the world's tallest under construction building at this moment. Counting in Dubai's Creek Tower, which is estimated to be well over 1,000 meters. Burj Mubarak Al Kabir will consist of seven vertical villages that include residences, hotels, offices, and entertainment amenities. However, there are, of course, some challenges that come with building a tower of this size. As impressive as the tower is, the concept does pose equally difficult challenges in its design and construction. It's common knowledge among architects that the taller the building is, the more elevators it's going to need. And a building that is one kilometer high including enough elevators for all the residents would be a challenge, to say the least. Experts have suggested that incorporating double and triple decker elevators into the tower would be necessary to overcome that problem, as they would be much more efficient than a normal elevator, much like the ones in the development of the Jetta Tower. Another considerable challenge that the tower would face is the strong high wind at the top. To solve this problem, Burj Mubarak will be designed in the form of three interlocked towers, that are each twisted 45 degrees to keep the structure stable. With its massive building, Madnit al Hir or Silk City still has a long way to go, and there will probably be a lot of new developments along the way, making it even more impressive. 